Okay, now this area down here below the level 2 and the point and click execution panel is uh, called your messages. Messages come through when you log on. It says uh, connection to quotes, OK, and connection to executor. Basically, there's two servers this thing connects to the quotes, which bring in the, the quotes on the charts and on the level 2, and the executor. The executor is the upload from my uh, keyboard directly to the executor, directly to the uh, New York or the NASDAQ. So um, two different uh, pathways. They'll always say, OK, occasionally you may lose one or the other. Now, if you lose one or the other, um, it could be on their end. It could be on your end. Chances are, if you trade over a cable modem or something, sometimes the internet might hick up, hick up. Um, what I do is nine times out of 10, I just go up. I close it down. Do you want to close? Yes. And if you didn't see, I'm just clicking the X here. Close down. Do you really want to quit? Yes, I do. And then you log back in real quick. Doesn't take very long. If I can type, and then you're back in. Um, but look down here for messages. They're going to come across here in bold orange to try and get your attention. It might say ARCA is down. Use another uh, vehicle. So then you would go over here and maybe uh, use another person by using this touchpad. Doesn't happen a lot. But um, if you do uh, wind up getting this and it doesn't fix itself by 15 or 30 seconds, first thing I would try is click the X, log off, and log back on really quickly. That usually uh, recycles something, especially if it's on your end. A um, couple of quick little cool shortcuts. Um, a lot of times I'll want to set an alert. Let's say, uh, let's look at a chart here for an example. And let's say I was uh, looking at Goog, but I didn't want to buy it here. I really wanted to buy it, um, you know, down here at the uh, 650, let's call it. Well, no matter what stock you're in, oh, that's a phantom share. Um, no matter what stock you're in, um, if you click Control A, that stands for alerts. I don't really feel like clicking that many alerts. Let's do something different like Yahoo. It's not as expensive. So let's say I wanted to see if Yahoo made a new high. And what's the high on Yahoo? Well, let's look on our, let's see, double click to get that off. Level 2 says the uh, 2376 is a new high. Well, that's the current high. What would be a new high? So let's say we're looking at Yahoo. And uh, well, I don't like it here, but I'd like to know if it goes to highs. So I hit Control A and uh, adjust this. And again, if you hold down the Control key, it goes by fives. If you hold down the Alt key, it goes by tens. Shift key is also tens. So um, I would adjust my price accordingly to uh, 23.77, and I would put that in there. And you'll see down here, Yahoo alert added, and it's in your messages. And as soon as it pops up, you're going to see something up here in the upper left-hand window that you have to click on to clear and acknowledge that your alert went off. And then you can decide if you want to make that trade or not. So Control A, if I'm in trading Dell, Control A brings up Dell. If I'm trading in Goog, enter. Control A brings up Goog. Tick, tick to the price you want, and hit Enter to send the, uh, the alert. Um, OK, the board view. Basically, what you do for the board view is you hit Control, Page Down. OK, Page Down, you guys will have this just like I do with all these same symbols. All this free homework done for you. And what we've got in here is um, just some basic uh, watch lists for the standard uh, NASDAQs, your EMC, Intel, Apple, RIM, Google, Amazon, Cisco, Microsoft, your horsemen of the NASDAQ. Uh, i got my financials in here. The uh, home builders is a sector I watch down here. They're pretty beat up, and so are the airlines. So we've been keeping an eye on them lately. And uh, these are my indexes. Uh, they're kind of hard and esoteric, but XOI is oil. SOX is semiconductors. RLX is retail. IIX is internet. XBD, broker-dealer. XAL is airlines. XLF is financials. BKKX is the banks. XHB is the home builders. And BTK is the biotechs. Some of these are actual indexes, and some of them are holders. So the holders actually have a percentage change. But the rest of them with the dot in front of them are indexes, which means they have no percentage change. So I just kind of see um, you know, how they're doing on the day, uh, plus or minus, on the, on the index. All right. Um, alternate energy, that's kind of a fun sector to play all the time. So I've got about 15 or 12 or 15 stocks in here that I keep an eye on and I do a board view. And if you want to sort these, you just click that and you sort them upside down. If you want to sort by last price, I don't know why you'd do that, but you can do that. Um, you can see FSLR is the most expensive stock in that category and Capstone is the least expensive. Percent from yesterday's close is another way you can sort, but I just keep it like that. And then down here we've got some China stocks that Andy kind of turned me on to. This over here is risers and fallers. I don't really pay attention to it very much. It's just what's up the most for the day and what's down the most for the day. It's sorted on percentage. 
and then you have your stats up here how much uh, shares you've done and then over here is the uh, the positions for today's winners and losers so uh, these were my winners today and these are my losers and that's gonna be there for you as well every day if you start doing some live trading so um, control page up brings you back to the main screen and let's say you want to build another page on your own here's what I'd recommend doing just play around with it hit control page up again and there's really a bunch of nonsense on here but you can create your whole new experimental layout if you want you can experiment with bringing a couple of charts up uh, you can experiment with bringing up a couple of market maker boxes or a couple of position watchers and just play around with it um, control page down brings you back to that oh there's Gwen Stefani let's see Gwen Stefani that's a good picture so um, what haven't I gone over yet I'm sure there's a bunch of ton of stuff but you know just trying to give you guys a foundation to not overwhelm you um, that's probably it for now I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of questions but uh, go ahead and work with that um, play around again just so you know light speed will close down um, after aftermarket and pre-market they don't want people hacking into their systems overnight so eight o'clock Eastern time you're locked out of this you can't make your changes or your configurations so you're gonna want to play with it during those hours and that's pretty much it for now so um, I'm sure I'll get some questions and I'm sure I'll do some more videos on Lightspeed